Hey guys, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, it's Monty here for a Christmas episode of Train Fever 101. Uh, I've modded out a little bit, obviously, uh, there hasn't been an update that let you uh, add the seasons, uh, however, I did do a Let It Snow update, this is uh, thanks to uh, Engine Shed who made this mod. Uh, there's a few other mods that I'm going to talk about throughout the episode. And uh, if you do play with mods, I would suggest using a mod manager. I use the uh, Train Fever Mod Manager by Xanos. Uh, I'll post all the links, throw some little screenshots up of uh, their, their page with a little screenshot of what each mod is, some train mods, things like that. But there's all kinds of fun things you can do with Train Fever. For now, I thought we would sit back, enjoy the snow, and... Uh, I'm going to be kind of just working on some of the cities. I've noticed one thing I've been horrible at is my city coverage is embarrassing, is the best way to put that. Uh, maybe in the 30 percentile, things like that. I have my kind of like wider bus loops. Everything's doing a pretty decent job of making money. And check this out. I'm running my two big lines with the A35s, and they're both making okay money. They're actually staying more in the green than they are in the red. I think this is really, really nice. It helped to kind of get them running for about two years. One of the suggestions I did do was get the Iron Horse Pack mod, uh, which is another set of trains, which is, uh, it starts early on, like 1865, you get this nice new steam engine, and the running costs are probably a third of what this A35 is. So it's definitely a very good option, so you can use mods not just for looks, but you can also get those trains that you love or always grew up with. Uh, if it wasn't actually in the generic game, um, I'm sure there's a mod for it. If not, hit, the, hit up those forums and start requesting it, and I'm sure uh, there's something that we can pull off and get, get a mod made. Uh, to, to help us out here. So maybe a Monty Express or something eventually. But for now, I thought we would just enjoy the scenery and I've got to get my bus systems kind of up to par. I might show a little bit of that online. Some of it might be uh, in between this episode and next. Give me comments, guys. What do you think? Do you like it when I show all the details? Like I don't, you guys don't miss a beat in this town? Or uh, do you like me to get more straight to the point? Uh, I know you guys kind of want more episodes, and if you want more episodes, I guess I could really kind of just show everything and take my time. Uh, but I want to keep them interesting as well, uh, since we have a high number of people. Wow, this is amazing. Even on this wooden bridge, they got little snow details and such, so I think this is a, a really nice start. Really, really, really nice. Like, oh, I forgot, I even got my little festive uh, hat. This is my little... Christmas spirit of a New York Yankees. <laughs> I'm a Yankee for sure. And uh, I love that they fixed the update to where the vehicles stop. It does add that little traffic effect. You have to take that into account. Uh, you can make bridges, tunnels, all those kinds of things to take advantage of this. Uh, so here we have it. As you can see, let's do Wigton for an example. Okay, people line usage, 59%. Thank you for not embarrassing me too much, but as you can really see, there's a lot of untouched areas. So if I go out here and find someone walking around, you better believe they're probably not using uh, our line. So this is what's really cool. You can actually click on the house, click on the person, find the person, and then actually see each place they go. Uh, so they actually do go to work via line four which line four is all the way up here so they're walking all the way up here wow to go to work so we've got to create some more lines here to make this a little bit more efficient and uh, if we want this stuff to grow give them give them some more uh, infrastructure here like this whole area out here's got nothing 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 uh, I think what changed here, remember, is that I used to have some lines, some actual passenger lines that connected uh, 
Launceston here in Wigton, and also Wigton and Kirkby, but got rid of those once we put the train line in because I wanted more people to use the train so I could make money. Uh, so that's one of the changes I did there. And I threw up quick little loops so at least all these stations are getting hit up. See, little stop, stop. Stop up here. So I want to just uh, keep cleaning this up. Like Newport, Newport's starting to grow and they got a people line usage of uh, only 27%. Now that we're making money, that's the thing. My bus lines do a pretty decent job of, look, I, almost everything's in the, in the green. Oh, now it's going and making me a liar here. Okay, just hadn't finished that run. There's some empty lags on line two that lose money, like on the, the far cities. Let me, might as well show you, since I got it right here. These cities over here, the little Wigton over to Eastleigh, this route's not as uh, popular as both Line 1 going the other way and uh, Eastleigh to Launceston, and Launceston and to Wigton. This is kind of a nice little full loop here, so they definitely make money here. But I'm definitely interested in uh, how this is going to play out. This was a whole new kind of setup. I usually had more like a uh, home base, kind of like a star system where all the different lines were going out from this main town. Now I have like a full loop. Uh, eventually, yes, I want to dive in, look at a passenger, and see if they're actually traveling, traveling from, say, Eastleigh all the way to Wigton, um, or if they're just going from, like, line two, they're going, like, from here to here, or here to here, here to here, kind of, so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, so, there we have that. Uh, so, hmm, <laughs> oh, oh, no, thought I saw Santa, no, never mind. Okay, Axminster. Axminster, how are we doing over here? I'm just trying to, oh, 32%. I'm just trying to think of where, where do I want to focus this whole new deal? You know, we could do some interesting stuff out here. Kind of clean this town up. Clean this town up. And, uh, ugh, I, I don't like that or that. All that can go. Now let's just make it how we want it. I want a nice loop out here. That's a loop, a big enough loop right there. And that's okay. This is, eh. No, this is too strange. That's good. We'll connect here. No. Wow, what is this about? Okay, and then connect. Oh, let's go there. Two-step process, people. Two-step process. Okay, now let's see if I can get something sneaky here. Yes, I can, because I'm sneaky like that. And I just want something along this train line here and all around. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're going to create some growth out here by adding a whole nother line. So let's go and... When I say another line, it's going to have a lot of stops. Like here. Uh, we're still making money, just wanted to make sure. I'm actually going to speed this up a little bit because we're in 1916. Uh, I want to just see the new vehicles start getting unlocked and we will expand out because we've already expanded our, our transportation network at least to each town. Uh, so now it's really about just getting new vehicles moving on into the future and moving up from there. Uh, that's actually... I don't want that. That's too big of a loop. Alright, back to where we were. We'll do one here. Now, I don't know. I think once the, the vehicles get a little bit more condensed here, it might be good to have the bus stops in the middle. Uh, so the buses are stopping here and not right at the intersection, because I think the, the intersections are just going to get so clogged up. Plus, any of the buildings and shops, everyone can walk to the middle and disperse out. Uh, that's my thought here. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys do. Uh, here we're going to build some more here. I could put these even tighter, you know. I've just been, I over stretch out my bus stops and uh, uh, Gordon just posted out a new video. He's doing some YouTube videos as well. My uh, Australian Kiwi friend. <laughs> and 
Yeah, it's uh, he does a lot more bus stops, and they seem to be working very well for him. So I'm going to give it a shot, see if uh, Monty can pull this off here. Now, ooh, look at this little, little ordeal. I'm, i got to delete that. That's just too crazy. And get this back. See, now, let's see how we do with our <coughs> percentages up. This is more of like a uh, building for expansion, looking to the future. Uh, I do need more bus lines internally as well. Actually, ooh, that'll be cool. Let's delete this here. Let's get another road here, straight out to, say, This is going to be a tram system. See, going crazy all the way down the middle. So we're going to have a tram line down the middle, bus lines in big loops around Axminster, and it's turning into a nice little uh, Axminster episode right now. A nice little winter holiday. I mean, what, you, what video games are you guys getting for this Christmas? Are you guys gifting yourself anything cool? <laughs> put put. Have you been nice and you're getting some? Little gifts under the tree from Santa, I don't know. I've got some PlayStation 4 games on the way, so uh, hopefully that doesn't keep me too distracted. Uh, however, I've got to get more of these Train Fever episodes out. I apologize all the time, but I want to, I, I like to really put some time into these episodes and uh, really think of what you guys are going to want to watch and want to see. I don't like just pumping them out just to, uh, for the purpose of simply that, pumping these episodes out. Uh, so I hope you guys are really enjoying them. Uh, but again, if you guys comment and uh, give me some more suggestions, too, of what you'd like to see, uh, that will also help pump these out a little bit faster as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just place this right here. Ooh, get a weird little elevated uh, tram system thing here. Now let's go ahead and start making new lines. Okay, I'm glad to see that we're still making some money here. i got to keep an eye on that, because all of a sudden one of my lines could take a dive. I haven't overly... Uh, paid attention to that kind of thing. So let's go here, 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 here. Now see how it's doing a loop in places? Once you say uh, it's a tram line, that'll automatically fix itself. Uh, or once you put a tram on the line, then it'll automatically fix itself. Let's go ahead and go for this guy. Uh, the price isn't much more. He holds more passengers, and he's a lot faster. I mean, this guy is flying. So let's buy two of them. Set line nine. There you have it. So our trams are running, and I want to keep an eye on Axminster. So if you notice on the edges, it kind of snaps uh, right up to the edge, which is kind of nice there. Just snaps to the side. Uh, or you can just put them all the way down here. I like to do this. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me grab this guy. Nope. Uh, so if you want a quick little tip on how to find your cities, you can click on the names and get them all out here. But what I'm saying is you drop them all the way down to the bottom like this to where you don't really see them. But you get the little uh, icon, the little uh, focus icon, right next, right to the left of the name. And then you can hop from town to town just by clicking on, see now we're going to go to Kirkby, Eastley. They all look the same when you're zoomed in like this. Exminster, and there you have it. And let's check out our new trams. Here they are. That's that little target button I'm talking about. And uh, I did not take the friendly advice of putting a post-it on uh, where my screenshot is, but I've got another idea. Instead of putting a post-it, what I need to do, and I'll probably continue to question myself, is see, I need to take this like train four and use it as a post-it and put it like where my webcam is, like that. So then I know that train four is where my webcam is, and in not to put any graphs or anything like that there. So again, I apologize if I'm doing that. Uh, hopefully it's not screwing things up. But what do you guys think? It's snowing. It's very holiday-esque. I, th I figured I'd have to run this. Now, you can't actually toggle the seasons in-game. Uh, you have to actually go out and say, disable it from your mod manager and then load it back in. Now, no guarantees. I've heard lots of horror stories of mods causing crashing and things like that. I haven't done that many. Like I said, I did the mod manager to organize them. 
I have the Let It Snow, which was a two-part file, uh, the Iron Horse uh, Train Pack, uh, which, let me show you that real quick. If I just go to a train depot, not a tram depot, on a train depot. Here, let's go to our our, our known weird back back to back depot. Now here's your iron horses. Now they look a little goofy here because this is just the little uh, character icon here. Like the iron horse is a fictional western locomotive. Uh, the other one that I did was the Midland Railway uh, number 1000. Uh, now that one's by Roger Murdoch. Uh, iron horse, uh, that's made by Das Matz. And he also does a, uh, a model railway transformer that's a, a cool little gadget that I have the mod, but I didn't enable it yet. So I'll show you guys that next episode. Uh, but there's some definitely some fun stuff. See all the Iron Horse stuff. There's a caboose and, an, and a coach. So when I buy a new train, I thought about putting it on these Line 1s, Line 2s and replacing them these A35s. But right now, excuse me, these A35s are doing are doing well. They're making some good money. Uh, so I figured I would go ahead and let those guys run. The A35s are a lot faster. They got that 100 kilometers per hour where the Iron Horse, it is good. It's 85. That is really all that I need. However, I don't want the train timing to get off on that line. I don't like having engines at different speeds on the same line. It just always causes some backups and, and issues. Uh, with how the AI is set up. You know, it'd be nice if you could kind of force a train to drive at a lower speed or something like that to help uh, save some money or expand the lifetime of the train. But there's definitely some cool stuff going on. I really like it. The textures are really nice. Uh, there's other textures to do like a real nice bright summer and things like that. So I'm going to be playing around with the mods. If you guys have any mod suggestions, let me know. And also, if you go to the train-fever.net a mod site. I think it's usually in German. What I suggest is use something like uh, Chrome. That's what I use. I don't know if Firefox does it or Internet Explorer. Right click on the browser and just say translate to English or translate to whatever uh, I think you have your Chrome setting to and it automatically translates the whole page. There you have it. Uh, I think I've hit a nice time for this episode. We've got our Axminster doing well so remember I left these little hot Hot spots down at the bottom and pull that graph up and we're we're up to 30% or maybe we're down to 30% now actually I don't think we were doing very great next Minster but I have to finish adding this new line the big loop and then I will let you guys go won't leave you before I do this how about that and then I'm gonna flip another line of course doing the backtrack. It's January, I just hit that weird little autosave. Big, big files for those autosaves. So look at this. Now this is a monster of a loop here. Alright. Oh! Nope, I don't want that one. I want to get rid of Kingsway. And I do want this guy to stop at this guy first here. And then he can just skip it, go here. All right, then we're good, okay? So there's line 10. Where is a... It's up here, right? Haha, -ha, look at this. I remember these old places. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the Mac, right? Let's see, 8, 10. Yeah, let's go with the Mac. Buy, uh, let's go ahead and buy, set that to line 10. And I'm going to go ahead and do a new line. Go one. all the way backwards the other way just so if someone needs to go back home or go back to work or do whatever they do in the opposite directions of life they can do it here today they can do it now all right now we have our line 11 plus it gave me some separation in this so I'm gonna go ahead and buy another one of these and I'm gonna set that to line 10 and buy another one set it to line 11 so I'm going to give this some time, kind of spread out these vehicles when I buy them. Uh, this one's going to be line 11 as well. And let these guys all spread out. This is going to look nice. Actually, let's go ahead and zoom in on one of these. Let's set this guy to 11. There you have it. I'm hit the delete key just to close everything at once. Love that little tip. And we're off. Look at that. There we go. We got our Mac. No driver. Still a ghost car. 
you know, one of the things with the update, it's interesting because you think, oh, they don't have, you know, actual visuals of characters getting in the car or drivers or things like that. For example, now a train, when it pulls up to a station, if it has more doors than, say, an older uh, passenger train car, it will actually load and unload faster than a train with, say, one door on it. So those nice new cars uh, that, that have, like, five doors on it are going to unload and reload and do all that kind of stuff faster. So all kinds of cool stuff that they're still working on, still tweaking it. So they're looking for more feedback. I'm looking for feedback. <laughs> And I'm looking to see what guy, what other games you guys are playing and uh, what else I should get into. I did pick up A-Train, very, very different style, and I'm talking about the version 3.01. Uh, so I might do a little bit of Monty Plays. I don't know if you guys play it. it. Let me know what you guys think about that game as well. I'm not, uh, I don't have any loyalty towards any game. I just like to play these and let you guys know how I like them, uh, how I play them, and things like that. So... Again, as always, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you guys in the threads, and uh, hope to talk to you more next episode. Peace on out. Have a great, great Christmas.